and Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Ruchachurash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings, Shalom, unto all the sincere brethren across the four corners of the earth that's putting in his work and truth and sincerity, man, and hasten the day uh, 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 for the rest of the Lord's prophecies to be fulfilled, man. All right, and that's uh, through the Spirit. That's what I wanted to go in today was one of the main uh, few prophecies left, which is the thermonuclear fire, man. Okay, because you have these Christians and other people who claim they know the scriptures, and they'll take certain ancient accounts of a city being destroyed and not know that now uh, uh, in the scriptures, America goes by many different code names, and the Most High is using... Uh, Previous destructions, as an example, what's going to happen to America, man. Okay, so when these Christians get a hold of certain prophecies and they don't have no clue what it's talking about, they'll just try to tie it in to something that already happened. Why? Because they don't want prophecy to be fulfilled. Why? Because their kingdom is coming to an end. All right, dealing with these Edomites, man. All right, the other nations and even two-thirds of our own people here in America, man. Jake don't want prophecy to be fulfilled because everybody else outside of the middle of the Lord uh, uh, have no belief in, in the scriptures, man, okay, and that belief is only going to come if you're called and chosen to, uh, uh, to receive his understanding, okay, so we have understanding that the destruction that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah was a, uh, happened literally and was an example of what's going to come in the end days, man, and we're already in the end days, all right, we're in the very end, okay, so, uh, Lord willing, there be some edification in this video, I want to uh, start off by grabbing the, the judgment that came down on Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, man. Okay, and uh, through the Spirit, just get into some scriptures dealing with the future destruction, all right? That's going to come on a way another scale, a higher scale than what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? But this time, it's not going to be fire and brimstone raining down from the heavens. It's going to uh, come uh, from thermonuclear missiles, all right? When the Most High put it in the minds of uh, 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 of men to uh, um, to basically finalize the destruction of this place, okay? But this is uh, Genesis chapter 19 and verse 24. It says, Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground, okay? So that happened. Why? Because of the wickedness that them Hamites was uh, into, man, okay? All right, and who was delivered out of that? Lot and his daughters, man, okay? The rest of everybody else was destroyed, man, even Lot's wife, uh, Lot's wife, because she was looking back on that old wicked lifestyle, man, the luxuries or whatever was going on in that city, man, okay? But now we're going to get into this uh, 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 prophecy, man. All right. The Most High have done great, great things in the earth, man. All right. And set it up that way just to be an example for things to come, man. Okay. And Sodom and Gomorrah was the example. Okay. If you follow the ways of these heathens and get into homosexuality and all these wicked things, then there's going to be a great judgment on you, man. Okay. And that's, and that's what's happened, man. And we see the, the rate of homosexuality. You can't get on YouTube without an ad uh, 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 about some homosexuals uh, popping up, man. All right? You can't uh, turn the TV on. They got it all over the commercials. It, it, it's running rampant, man. Okay? You have, you have this government uh, licensing um, or giving permission for uh, certain military personnel to marry animals and all these different things, man. Okay, that's way outside of the scriptures. So now if Sodom and Gomorrah was uh, destroyed for these same uh, reasons, what, what, what make you think America is going to get a pass, man? Okay, when it succeeded, all right, the things that they can do with today's modern technology, they wasn't doing back then, man. This place is far worse than anything that you've ever seen, man. All the wicked kingdoms are combined here in America, okay? A.K.A. Babylon, all right? A.K.A. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, man. Okay, all the different code names that the scriptures go by, and it was set up that way. So when the prophecies would be uh, brought out, these other people wouldn't understand it, man. They would try to tie it in the history and say, oh, that will already happen. Well, guess what? When it happened again, you won't be able to uh, dispute anything, man. Okay? 
uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 22. It says, And that the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning, that it is not sown nor uh, bared, nor any grass groweth therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Adma and Zeboim. All right, I want to read that one more time because it's a key word in this scripture, man, to show you that there's another destruction similar to what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah coming, man. All right, through the judgment of the Most High Power, man. All right, who the world, world ignorantly knows as God, his true name is Yahweh. Okay, uh, this is uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy 29 and 23 again. It says and that the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning. That it is not sown nor buried nor, and when we go into well, the Lord willing, I uh, get it. I don't want to jump too far ahead. It says nor any grass grow up therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and uh, Zeboim, which the Lord overthrew in His anger and in His wrath. Okay. Now in this scripture in verse twenty three, it says like the throw overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. So if anybody tried to uh. Uh, tie in a future destruction of America or anything and try to say it already happened. All right, like you got that one, uh, Edomite, his name is escaping me right now, trying to say that all the things that's coming to pass here in America are happening in 70 AD, man. Well, that's not true. Okay. Now, you had certain parts, uh, 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 the scriptures will go into and it kind of jump back and forth in between 70 AD and then get into uh, uh, what's going to happen here in these times, uh, uh, days and times. But every single thing dealing with uh, America going down did not happen in 70 AD. That's future prophecy and it will come to pass soon. Okay, but the point I wanted to make in 23 was the scripture said, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, there's no here, the most high made it. Uh, to where there was physical evidence of the destruction that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? But there's no historical account uh, anywhere else of that type of destruction happening anywhere on the earth, okay? So that means it's yet to happen in somewhere in the earth, all right, where the same vibration and wickedness that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be amplified and deserve a far, uh, far worse judgment, man, Okay? Well, let me read on. This is Deuteronomy 29 and 24. Even all the nations shall say, Wherefore hath the Lord done this unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord power of their, of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, man. All right, now just dealing with the homosexual part of it, man. Okay. Jake is the most flamboyant, slinky built homosexuals in America, man. All right, when it's time to show they gay pride, they go all out, man. They go all out, man. Why? Because Jake's love the ways of the heathens, man. He loves the ways of wickedness, man. Okay, that's why in verse twenty-five it said, "Because uh, then men shall say, because they have forsaken." The covenant of the Lord power of their fathers, man. That's talking about Israel, man. Okay? Now, that was him back there uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah. But now when the destruction comes to America, all you uh, uh, wicked jakes that have got into the ways of these heathens, man. All right? And I'm touching on how, uh, uh, different sexual acts uh, dealing with Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right? But all the wickedness is being done, man. All the idolatry, man. All the adultery. Everything that's going on that's outside of the law, statute, and commandments, man. You jakes that's taking part of that, man. And not trying to turn from your transgressions. You're going to be destroyed in the fire and brimstone that's coming to America. Which is going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles. Okay? So let me read on. It says, For they went and served other gods and worshipped them. Gods whom they knew not, and whom he had not given unto them, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against uh, this land, to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book, man. And we know the main deliverance is going to come uh, from right here in America, man, and that's where the bulk of the Israelites have, have been brought, man. We can find all tribes here in America, man. 
all right that great judgment that's uh that uh not only come into these heathens but two-thirds of israel is gonna die here in america man all right for their transgressions against the heavenly father man they're gonna die in that lake of fire which is talking about the missiles uh, uh hidden here in america man okay grab a couple more precepts just dealing with uh the most I let you know that he's going to uh, destroy, um, there's going to be a future destruction coming with the same magnitude of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Okay. This is uh, Psalm uh, chapter 11 and starting at verse 5. It says, The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone. And an horrible tempest that shall be the portion of their cup. Okay, so that's what's coming to the wicked, man. We know the head is, is the so-called white man, which is the wicked, man. And everybody that's following in his pattern is going to receive that that destruction, man. Okay? While the rest of, uh, 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 while the world is, is going on, the Most High is going to send his son back, man. Okay? To, to, uh, to, uh, to be that thief in the night, man. And along comes with that, there's going to be World War Three uh, happening, man. And in World War Three, what's, what's going to be the difference, man? Okay? It's not going to be uh, like the scriptures tell you, man. It's not going to be on the battlefield, man. All right? This is going to be a, a, a thermonuclear fire, man. All right? Uh, briefcases coming out, switches getting flipped up, and, and, and targets getting aimed at, man. All through the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Let us quick precept. This is a uh, book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up." Okay, how is that gonna happen, man? Okay, now see, America is gonna be the last ones. America's full of a bunch of dummies, man, and just airheads. All right, America's going to be the last ones to know anything's going on in the world. Why? Because they're still thriving on club nights and uh, sports and fast food and all these distractions that this devil is providing here in this land. Okay, got this fluff news. All right, there's no real news here in America. You turn on your local news stations, you might say see some shit about uh, some cat adoptions and chef for the week, but you ain't going to know shit about what's going on in the world. You're not going to have no current events, man. You're not going to get no true news, man. Okay? And that's why the men of the Lord, the most high set up the men of the Lord to be the true newscasters, man. All right? And and, and it's uh, uh, the future forecast is going to be a, 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 a heavy thunderstorm, man, a hurricane, twisters, okay? And 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 a hundred a hundred percent chance of rain from thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, so I'm gonna read this one more time. The Second Peter, three and ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat." How is that gonna happen through them thermonuclear missiles, man? Okay, just as uh, it happened in Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right, it says, "The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, man." Okay, and there's it, it, no getting around that, man. There's too many scriptures that, that that clearly state that there's a great destruction coming in the physical, man. It's not going to be I saw, uh, a lot of churches popping up talking about all, all the uh, destruction is physical, all the wars, uh, I mean, all the, is, is, uh, is, is, is symbolic, okay? All the, the war and all the different things dealing with the most highest judgment coming on this place and throughout the world. They trying to say it's all symbolic, man. Okay, but then when it's time to get literal, uh, these Christians and, and Bible uh, students, they they get dumbfounded, man. They don't have no answers, man. All right, let's just show you, man. The Most High got His men of the Lord set up, all right, to have His truth, and the rest of these people are gonna be blinded, man. All right, real quick, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter thirty-eight and verse twenty-two. It says. Uh, I'll start at verse 21, uh, Ezekiel 38 and 21. And I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains, saith the Lord Power. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood 
and I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him an overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone, man. All right, is this talking about actual hailstones, man? Okay, is this talking about mystical fire and, br and brimstone coming from the sky, man? No, it's talking about the thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, this is the, the execution of the Most High's jealousy, man. Okay. Yes, he's taking these heathens out, man, but he's pissed off at you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who continue to uh, um, to uh, uh, to worship other gods, man, all right, and put him on a level of, of powers that don't exist, okay? And matter of fact, I want to jump up uh, two more verses, man. This is uh, just to, since I said that, uh, with three verses, uh, ex, uh, Ezekiel. 38 and verse 18 it says and it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel saith the Lord uh, the Lord power then my fury shall come up in my face for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heavens and the beast of the field, and all the creeping things that creep upon the earth, and all men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake in my presence. And the Most High Spirit is going to be in those missiles, man. Okay? All right, and he's sending his son back uh, uh, first and foremost, all right, in, in, in full glory, man, all right, to execute his wrath, man, on his command. All right? It says, And the mountain shall be thrown down, and the steep, steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground and I will call and I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains saith the Lord power every man's sword shall be against his brother and I will plead against him all right when you go into that word plead it means to judge or execute a uh, judgment man okay it says uh, and I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood and I will rain upon him and upon his band and upon the many people that are with him and overflowing of uh, overflowing rain and great hailstones fire and brimstone okay and this is the judgment of the heavenly father man okay now you have all these Christian nuts trying to bring up this hell doctrine and all this other BS they don't have no understanding what the most high have put have had put in the minds of men, all right, Israelite men, to scribe here in this in, in these scriptures, man. Okay, and that's why they so butt hurt and, and 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 driven to try to prove us wrong, all right, because it's damaging everything that they built with their lives. It's damaging uh, their future. Okay, I'm glad to grab this last scripture real quick. This is um Revelation chapter twenty one and get straight to the point uh this is revelation 21 and 8 it says uh but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn it with fire and brimstone which is the second death okay now we know the first death was uh when noah was on the scene and the most high flooded the earth man only saving eight souls man now he uh he 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 made a promise, all right, that he wouldn't uh, uh destroy the earth by water. So what's the uh, the opposite of water? Fire, man. All right. So he's gonna. There's no hell under the earth, man. None of that BS. That's not what the scripture's talking about. This is the Most High bringing that second death, which is coming through thermonuclear fire, man. Okay, which he's gonna rain uh, fire and brimstone in those missiles down on America and other parts of the earth, man. Which is gonna cause the earth to reel to and fro, according to the scriptures, man. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna end it on that, man. Lord willing, on some edification in this to anybody who, who who wants to go against the prophecies of the scriptures that's coming out through the men of the Lord, the Most High set up, man. Get prepared to be destroyed in that lake of fire, man. Okay, think that's talking about hell all you want. And, 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 and you'll find out soon, man. All right? So the men that's sincere, man, just got to keep fighting. And, and, and Lord willing, we'll be out of here soon, man.
All right. So uh, with that, once again, want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Chachorash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings, uh, to the sincere brethren across the four corners of the earth. Shalom.